Hello, I'm Manisha, a cloud support engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to show you how to configure private and public Amazon Aurora endpoints for Amazon Aurora DB instances that run in Amazon Relational Database Service. Let's get started. To configure private or public Aurora endpoints, we must have a subnet group configuration and the publicly accessible setting at the database instance level. First, let's create a new Aurora cluster with a public endpoint. Before you create the Aurora cluster, you must create a subnet group that defines at least two subnets in the VPC. For public access, make sure that you configure the route table that's associated with the subnets to have local routes and a default route to an internet gateway. To create a publicly accessible Aurora DB cluster, navigate to the Amazon RDS console. Choose Create Database. Select Amazon Aurora as the database engine option. Now, under Connectivity, select the VPC that you want to launch the cluster in. For the DB subnet group, Choose or create a new subnet group that has subnet with route table for internet access. Under public access, choose yes. Select a VPC security group that allows inbound access from the IP addresses or CIDR ranges that you need. Proceed through the remaining steps to create the Aurora cluster. Now let me show you how to modify the public accessibility for an existing Aurora cluster. Select the Aurora instance that you want to modify. Choose Modify. Under Connectivity, expand Additional Configuration. Set Public Access to either Publicly Accessible or Not Publicly Accessible based on your requirements. Choose Continue to review the summary of modification. If you want to immediately apply the changes, choose Apply Immediately or you can choose Apply During the Next Maintenance Window. Finally, choose Modify Instance to apply the changes. So now you know how to configure private and public Aurora endpoints for Aurora DB instances that run in Amazon RDS. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.